cardiovascular disease is the number one killer globally as a result of multiple factors from industrialization, urbanization, and globalization. The living habits have altered, and therefore people are likely to consume unhealthy diets in larger quantities. They're likely to exercise less. Tobacco is being sold aggressively, particularly in low and middle income countries. Stress is increasing, and therefore the likelihood of falling victim to cardiovascular disease is that much higher now than about 40 or 50 years ago. It's not as though we do not have the knowledge of what causes the disease, what are the risk factors, and we also have knowledge of how effective those interventions can be if properly applied. Yes. Much of the knowledge about the ill effects of cardiovascular disease is within the academic research community or among the health professionals. It has not widely percolated to the wider community and certainly has not appeared prominently on the radar screen of global policymakers during the time of priority setting and resource allocation. We believe that the WISH Forum offers us a great opportunity to project the real threat of cardiovascular disease as well as the great opportunity for prevention and saving valuable lives to the policymakers. So in a sense, from siloed approaches, which are likely to be highly ineffective, we are really looking at multi-sectoral approaches which combine learnings from different streams of knowledge which are likely to be transformational and much more impactful. I believe WISH provides that kind of platform.